Okay, imagine launching a full brand logo, packaging, campaigns, even a full website, all from one single sentence. Sounds crazy, right? But today I want to try that exact thing. I'm going to build an entire brand experience using a single prompt. And guess who's helping me do it? A tool that I've been testing for a few weeks called Love Art. They say that they're the world's first design agent that thinks in design. I'll be the judge of that. So over the next 10 minutes, I'll be walking you through the entire process, how it works, is it actually usable in real life and everything else. So stick till the end. Okay, so let's start with the brief. You're making a premium matcha brand and we can name it OG Matcha, a clean Japanese earth inspired matcha brand, but with a twist. Now, usually I would start with mood boards, start sketching, find some inspiration online, hire a photographer, find color palettes, you know how it goes. But with Love Art, we're gonna see how this one prompt helps achieve that okay i have my love art open as you can see your is all near my entire dashboard you can also see my recent projects yes i did try it before but i want to show you actually how it's going to be happening live and not show you the things i've done before and yep you can see how i was working on a lot of different projects you can even filter out uh, what exactly you're looking for uh, but i like how it is right in the center of what you want you can just type and then create it i've already typed my prompt right here let's read the prompt Create a full brand kit for a modern matcha brand called Jojo. Yes, I changed the name to Jojo. I feel like it really fits in with the identity. Include logo variations, packaging, social banners, and a website mock-up. Earthy tones, Japanese textures, and minimal aesthetic. The prompt is not too big or not too detailed, but it is just enough for Love Art to know what to get started with. And the best part about Love Art is actually you'll see once I click on enter, it will not give me everything right at once. It will design with me. You will get to know. Let me just press enter. Here is a prompt. If you want to take a screenshot and try it for yourself, do it right now. And I'll be clicking on enter and go. Okay, so this is our second dashboard. Here it shows the navigation bars, how to move with the surrounding and everything. We know all this, so we're just gonna skip it. On the left side, which is like majority of the 70%, that's our main artwork, or I would say our main creative space where the design is actually happening. Yes, you're not seeing anything on the left because on the right, our main work is happening. Okay, so this is the prompt which we typed and Lavat responded, let me think about this comprehensive branding project for Jojo Macha. And it started actually thinking like actually a design person. And with that, it already gave us inspiration to select from. It did not generate the results directly. It told us what kind of mood board or what kind of vibe you're looking for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a few of them. I really like this one. I would say this one for the packaging design. I really like the vibe and the color scheme. Oh, this one I've seen before. I really like that. Oh, for the identity, I would say we'll go with this one. It has this nice orange color in it, which I really like. Something funky, something also simple. And once I've selected, I'll click on continue. So it registered all the ones that I selected. And now it has started thinking again based on the inspiration that I've selected. This is so cool. So here it is showing us the estimated time. It'll take 15 seconds to estimate the next step. And it is also showing me how much time it's actually going on. And I love how this is acting like an actual human. Let's say you give a designer a brief and they, they give you inspiration. Then you select that, then they think again. So this is just more than any other AI tool. This is like actually working with a real designer, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so quickly it has also given us three things to again choose from. So based on the inspiration images, I've created three distinct design directions for Jojo Matcha brand and which direction would I go to prefer? Oh wow, this is very nice. Okay, so the first one is Wabi Sabi minimalism, which is quite artisanal aesthetic with muted matcha tones, brush stroke. Second is contemporary typographic. I really like the second one. The third is vibrant pop matcha. Oh, this is something which is really feeling me. Approachable, energetic style with bright colors, so soft rounded letter forms, playful illustration and high contrast. Okay, we are gonna go with the third one. And you saw as soon as I clicked on the third one, it directly typed in the prompt. I'd like to pick option three. So now I think it'll start executing the design direction. And I think we'll finally start seeing something on the left artboard, which has been blank and empty for the longest time because this is all the work that we've been doing for the past, I don't know, two minutes. Okay, so this is what it gave me. This is interesting. It gave me a brand kit proposal with the brand essence tagline option, whisk up the good vibes. <laughs> interesting. It also started giving me color palettes and color nodes. I feel like it is giving me 
and telling me what to exactly expect when it actually starts creating those logos, colors, fonts and everything. So this also gave me color codes and wow, this is super detailed. I did not expect this at all. It is giving me iconography, the primary mark in bubble letter fonts. Okay, perfect. I think it has, okay, finally we started seeing the, um, it's also using chat GPT image generation to generate images. So this is actually really nice tying up with different AI tools and generating the best result for you. I feel like as a designer, that's what you exactly want. Here we go. We have started seeing the first round of iterations. Oh my God. I really like this already. It has started giving us logo options. The first one is actually pretty cute. It um, reminds me of the bubbles you form when you're making matcha, when you're whisking it, the top down view. And also I think has some Japanese heritage on top of the G just as like a design element. Then we have this one. I actually really like this one. I hope this is Jojo in Japanese. I hope that is there. And uh, it feels like a matcha brand. Uh, I don't know what this is going on. I feel like it was trying to make the the whisk which you use to create the matcha but not happy with this one this is also these are also good options but honestly i would go ahead with this one so what i'll do is here it has told me to select the one which i would like to go ahead so i'll select the option number two i feel like it's really strong really bold it's it fits perfect with the symmetry of uh i can imagine this has to use in packaging and stuff like that i don't know you tell me which one would i have would you have gone with I think the second one's pretty good it also has the color which i really like these ones are really a little muted but this one really stands out and if you remember our original brief or like initial iterations we wanted a little bit of pop in it i hope it gives me more colors but yeah i think we'll gonna go with this one now it's gonna be generating jojo matcha travel sachet box uh, as I can, I can see right here i'm excited for that and uh, i think it told me to select the logo so it's gonna take that logo and then create that uh, put that logo in the box mockups and i hope so it does that oh my oh my god okay this something just happened and it just created these sachet box mockups i mean these are like completely different identities the first one is very bubbly poppy and something fun second one is i would say luxury it speaks luxury to me and the third one is i would say more organic uh, I don't like how it changed the color in the third one. So I think honestly, I'm liking the second one, but also it has created a nice character, a nice illustration. I think we had given that. So we'll go with the first one. We can always also change the colors of it and we can re-edit it. But let me actually select this one, which is my favorite. Wow, this is actually really nice. Look at this. This character is so cute. This is so, so on point. I really like the first one. Okay, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I think it has also automatically started creating social media posts. We can also tweak a lot of things. Let's say, for example, in this packaging, if it's written everyday grade matcha, let's say if I don't want to have that, I will select this and tell it to change everyday grade matcha to pure matcha i mean even even though i'm not going with this one i just want to have fun with it and see if it actually changes pure movement okay i'm gonna do that and let's see if it actually does that i think it's doing a lot of things together oh this is this is actually so cute guys so it started creating social media posts for me and i don't know if i told it that i like the first uh packaging i did not give any prompt but i think it it just understood and then it tried to take those things i really like these illustrations as well um one thing that's lacking is the color consistency i, I think i should give it um and i should tell it that what i actually what colors i really want now that i think of, i don't like the last color i actually like this color more uh this this middle one right here i feel like it's it's, it's a good enough pop and it really works with this orangish red which is also there on the packaging right here yeah you see this line i think it adds a lot of personality having that 90 10 color ratio of majority green and a some bit of orange and i think now it is trying to generate oh my god this is this, this is unbelievable so if you remember i had selected this one i told it to change the text to pure matcha pure moment it actually did here is the packaging writer it also showed me that it did and uh, i mean this is actually really cool this is not like your your typical ai generation where you have to 
keep regenerating what you exactly want and when you do that it changes everything so it it kept everything intact the lines the logo the illustration everything and changed exactly what i really wanted it to change so that's exciting so it's it's almost like like very smooth as figma the ui and everything is so smooth and exactly like figma but also if figma and mid journey had a baby this is what i would call it because the generations are really on point and perfect and the user experience is exactly like figma like it's um, flows so smoothly i can maybe add text your i can add images or put anything or any video i want and then i can change it to that uh, i can select it and tell it to change the text which i did right here okay wow it has given us a website mock up right here in fact let us see it on our dashboard yes your is our website mockup uh, we have jojo i would actually like to have a picture of our product which we selected so what we'll do is that um okay this is what it, another request i got uh would you like to see any additional brand applications um i would say uh, so i can also select the brand kit looks great as of now no changes or i can also tell it to create one more thing i would say let's create a tote bag okay I would like you to create a tote bag design. Why not? I mean, let's say you're going to Pilates or your gym and you want this Jojo Matcha tote bag with you, telling everyone that, okay, you drink from Jojo Matcha. You'll do that, but I'll also just gonna select this and add product mockup because I really want to add product mockup and I'm actually surprised that two, three generations happen together. Yes, it takes a bit of time, but it's it's fun that I can do two, three renditions together. Let's say if I wanted to go back to the logo and tell all the packaging to be done by this logo, I can actually do that. So that's interesting. So while it's doing its thing, let me just talk about why Lavart is so powerful. Lavart isn't just one model and as we saw it before, it switches between different models depending on what task you are actually giving it to. As we saw, it uses ChatGPT for some image generation. It used Flux Context for this website mockup and uh, it being so transparent about it is actually very, very good. The logo vectors are handled by vector trained model tech, layout and image filling come from the visual AI pipelines and motion elements use runway gen 4 capabilities. You get the best of the tools without switching between different tabs all in one place. And that's absolutely genius. While I was explaining uh, you all that stuff, I can't believe it. I'm absolutely shocked. So it added these boxes as well because I was editing and it thought that I actually like this one. This is so fun. This is this is so good. And this feels like an actual real brand. And I can't believe I generated this within like what? 10, 15 minutes. Um, we have the tote bag. We have the matcha. We have a super realistic whisk right here. We have these packets. We have a matcha inside a cup as well. And as a brand, even if you just show this to like sort of an investor or any company, they would actually be sold. They'll be like, okay, this is actually really good design. This is this is amazing. And yours obviously are tote bag, which I told it to generate. Whisk up the good times. Yeah. So if you remember, this was a tagline which it gave it gave us initially. So again, if I want to change anything in the tote back i can select it type in the prompt however i want to if i want to remove everything and just keep the jojo i can actually do that okay so for the final one i would uh okay i think we have everything right here i like how i can see everything for the final one let's make a bit of a polished website for it i'll say build a landing page hero section with product shots tagline very important <laughs> and subtle scroll gradient all right, so I've put in my prompt, build a landing page hero section with product shots, tagline, CTA, hover animation, and subtle scroll gradient. I'm excited to what it comes to. This was its generic website mockup, which it gave. Again, this is far better than many uh, designers work that I've already seen. And this was without any specific prompt. I just told it to create the website with the logo, which I liked and with the colors and the vibe, which I really liked. I like what it did can be much better we've actually given it not not that of a detailed prompt but but somewhat for it to actually understand i'm actually really excited about the hover animation i don't know if we'll be able to do that but let's hope let's see let's wait and yes oh wow uh this is our website okay where it is okay here it is jojo whisk up the good times this is a really nice landing page it has both of our products I actually did not specify which product i wanted but we'll go with it it has both of our products whisk up the good times um 
as I mentioned a tagline and a CTA button of shop now I think yes I also requested that and there is a hover animation so I think it is still working on a generation yes so if, if I just pause my uh, mouse here I can see it is generating image uh, with hero section with hover states so okay this this is actually really nice I can actually take this um, for consideration much better I actually move this right here so we can have a look at our before and after of the websites i've also given it another prompt to add motion effects but leaving that aside i'm just looking and wondering of how much it actually did i mean taking a step back and seeing all the generations all the imagery all the design Honestly, to make all this for me, it would have taken a week or two weeks and I would have come here, but this happened so quickly and this is just putting in 10-15 minutes of your ideas, your creativity into this and this is the result you're getting. So I'm actually incredibly amazed by the capabilities of what this software can do and has done for me. While this is actually happening, let me go back and actually show you uh, some other generations I was doing. So I was actually working on a fitness brand uh, design and I was creating the logo so I'll tell you I'll show you the prompt I created it create a visual launch pack for a new fitness tracker brand called pulse one I specifically gave P capital one capital because that's how I actually wanted it and include product photo a five second ad video and a rotating 3d mock-up of the brand I mean that's insane to ask it to create a 3d mock-up a rotating video and it did that it actually gave me uh, obviously your as you can see here it gave me a nice blue color fitness band with the pulse one written on it this is super clean already really good and you won't believe but there's actually a video which it gave me look at this wow that was just by a single line of this is all ai generated by the way and that was amazing i can even make a few changes in that and do as much as i want to and the craziest part it also gave me a 3d rotating version how insanely cool this is for example let's say you are even doing a client presentation and you want a 3d version of your product or even your logo you can literally generate this put it on the pdf or put it on your website and this automatically becomes so much more engaging than a simple mock-up that's absolutely insane this is actually really cool this was my favorite one all right all in all i would actually close my laptop right now because i'm actually amazed what what this tool can do and uh, i can't wait for you guys to actually try it out i'm going to go back to the office uh, actually it's time for to go to the office and i have to brief a team uh, for a few projects but i'm going to actually tell my team about this and to tell them to start actually using this in our day-to-day -day work this is actually going to help us save a lot of time close a lot more clients and make a lot of clients happy and just add this to our day-to-day -day design process if you are a brand a content creator a young designer just starting out this can actually save you and help you go from zero to actually somewhere realistic i'll drop the link of it as the first link in the description check it out if you want a canvas that does it all for you and if you actually build a brand with this do tag me on instagram or any other social media platform i would love to actually see you doing it all right design folks i'll see you in the next one